आईआईटी पटना वर्सेस आईआईटी गांधीनगर वर्सेस आईआईटी भुवनेश्वर दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द प्रेस्टीजियस आईआईटीज ऑफ आवर टाइम्स आईआईटी पटना वर्सेस आईआईटी गांधीनगर वर्सेस आईआईटी भुवनेश्वर द कंपैरिजन अमंग द थ्री आईआईटीज इज बेस्ड ऑन द एनआईआरएफ रैंकिंग्स फॉर द ईयर 2021 The Indian Institute of Technology Patna was established by an act of parliament in 2008 along with eight new IITs. IIT Patna initially functioned under the guidance of IIT Guwahati but soon enough successfully created a niche for itself in the area of academics and research within a short span of time. The institute infuses novel energy in a region that has been the focal point of knowledge since time immemorial. The institute emphasizes bringing prosperity and enhancement to life through quality and holistic education and pioneering research. In the enormous list of engineering colleges in India, IIT Patna ranks 21st according to the NIRF 2021. In the India Ranking 2021 released by the National Institutional Ranking Framework or NIRF 2021 of MHRD, the Indian Institute of Technology Gandhinagar has been ranked 22nd amongst all engineering institutions. IIT Gandhinagar is a nationwide leader on two fronts its holistic undergraduate curriculum and its student centric approach thus resulting in nurturing a vibrant environment for its students with a thorough understanding of technology international experiences leadership communications and most significantly the overall development which is beyond the curriculum the indian institute of technology bhubaneswar is ranked 28th in the engineering category according to nirf 2021 IIT Bhubaneswar provides state of the art technical education in multiple fields a pioneer among the technical universities with its transformative learning environment and a culture of excellence thus molding a future generation of promising leaders who graciously contribute to the well-being of our nation and humanity welcome to college suggest let's get deep into the war for the battle among the best IIT Patna versus IIT Gandhinagar versus IIT Bhubaneswar teaching learning and resources approved intake iits without fail spearhead the growth trajectory of india by prioritizing quality education research development consultancy and manpower training let's delve into the course details iit patna offers 6 btech courses and 9 mtech courses on the other hand iit gandhinagar offers 6 btech programs and 8 mtech programs for iit bhubaneswar there are 6 btech courses 14 mtech programs and 9 dual degree courses The approved intake for 2019 at IIT Patna was just 225 UG student seats. 2020 displayed a figure of 250 UG and 185 PG seats. And for this year the approved intake stands at an adequate 361 for UG and 172 for PG. IIT Gandhinagar has a student intake of 180 UG students in 2019. 2020 saw a figure of 194 UG and 190 PG students. and finally 193 ug students and 160 pg students this year the approved intake at iit bhubaneswar in 2019 was 260 seats for the ug 4 year program and 90 seats for the ug 5 year program in 2020 it was 260 seats for the ug 4 year program and 172 for pg and 90 seats for the ug 5 year program finally this year the approved intake was at 290 seats for the ug 4 year program 246 seats for PG students and 99 seats for the UG 5 year program. Student stats. The student community is the integral part of any institution. For IITs, this student community is one that reflects ambition as the institute churns out brilliant engineers. The overall student strength at IIT Patna is a fair 1194 engineering students across all years. IIT Gandhinagar has a total student strength of 1063 across all years. Finally, for IIT Bhubaneswar, the student strength is a massive 1,681 young minds, and the clear winner here is IIT Bhubaneswar. The percentage of male students at IIT Patna this year adds up to 88.27 percent to 11.73 percent girls, while 2020 saw 92.39 percent males and 7.61 percent females at IIT Patna. At the same time at IIT Gandhinagar in 2021 the male students amounted to 84.2% while that of girls made up a much greater 15.8% of the total strength. And in 2020 this figure was 85.29% boys and a good 14.71% girls. The male female percentage breakdown at IIT Bhubaneswar in 2021 comprises 86.02% boys and an impressive 13.98% girls. 
In 2020, it was a much greater 87.38% males and a minimal 12.62% females. Most of the IITs have a greater inclination for male students. However, we observe progress over the years in the IITs welcoming female students, and this attribute is commendable, especially for IIT Gandhinagar. Faculty Stats The spirit of innovation has always been present among the IIT community in all of its domains across teaching, research, administration, and the most significant being infrastructure creation. However, what distinguishes any IIT is the top-notch and quality faculty members. To cater to these aspiring engineers at IIT Patna, there were 122 faculty members last year. While this year saw a slight increase with 127, the doctorate degree is granted to a phenomenal 100% of the faculty. This leaves IIT Patna with an extraordinary faculty to student ratio of 1 is to 9. For IIT Gandhinagar, the graph shows an escalation from 87 faculty members in 2020 to a magnified 103 in 2021, a 15.53% increase, with an amazing 100% of them holding a doctorate degree. This grants IIT Indore a good faculty-to-student ratio of 1 is to 10. The interesting factor being the six distinguished professors from IIT Gandhinagar who have received prestigious national and international awards from central government agencies last year. The guidance of these award-winning faculty members helped 34 of their students in securing international awards last year. The faculty strength at IIT Bhubaneswar for 2020 was 145, and this year saw an escalation leading to 150 professors, of which an impressive 100% hold a PhD. Another commendable aspect of IIT Bhubaneswar is the wholesome 1 is to 11 faculty to student ratio. The surefire winner in terms of faculty numbers is IIT Bhubaneswar. But when it comes to the faculty to student ratio, IIT Patna cannot be challenged. Resources. Apart from excellent campuses and faculty members, IITs have paved the way for technological revolutionization throughout India. IIT Patna noted an annual capital expenditure of 27 crores in 2018. 2019, the capital expenses saw a de-escalation of 25.93%, amounting to 20 crores. 2020 saw a 40.29% escalation in funds, amounting to the highest 67 crores, and ultimately a decrease of 67.16%, reaching the lowest 22 crores in 2021. The annual capital expenditure at IIT Gandhinagar in 2018 was 17 crores. 2019 observed a rise of 29.17%, amounting to 24 crores. 2020 utilized an annual capital expenditure that amounted to an impressive 36 crores, a steep increase of 33.34%. 2021 observed a slightly higher 37 crores as capital expenses. The annual capital expenditure in 2018 for IIT Bhubaneswar was 21 crores. 2019, the capital expenditure was at 16 crores, observing a 23.81% decrease. 2020 observed a 30.43% increase in capital expenses, amounting to 23 crores, and again a similar 23 crores in 2021. The winner in terms of capital expenditure is undoubtedly IIT Gandhinagar. The operational expenditure for IIT Patna displayed a harmonious growth with 36 crores in 2018. 2019, the operational expenses were 70 crores, a 48.57% increment. Last year, it was a slightly increased 77 crores. And finally, the loftiest, a slightly higher 78 crores in 2021. The operational expenditure deployed at IIT Gandhinagar in 2018 was 67 crores. And 93 crores was spent in 2019 as operational expenditure, a 27.96% rise. 2020 observed an advanced 102 crores as operational expenses, with an 8.82% increase. And this year saw yet another 13.56% hike, realizing the highest 118 crores. The year 2018 at IIT Bhubaneswar witnessed an operational expenditure of 52 crores. 68 crores were utilized as operational expenses in 2019, an increase of 23.53%. 2020, the operational expenses saw a slight escalation of 6.85%, amounting to 73 crores. And 2021 observed a splendid 86 crores with a 15.12% increase. IIT Gandhinagar yet again owns the title of winner in terms of operational expenditure. Therefore, considering all of these factors, IIT Patna has scored an incredible 76.49%. IIT Gandhinagar has a remarkable and even greater 82.1% and IIT Bhubaneswar has a good 75.09% in teaching, learning and resources, contributing to 30% of the overall NIRF score. Research and Professional Practice 
IITs are on their journey from being an academic focused institution to a research focused institution. And in this regard, one major shift at IITs is the change in focus from publication to innovation and product development. The growth as a technology think tank institution is an objective of every IIT. The number of patents published by IIT Patna over the last three years has witnessed a notable three patents in 2019, six in 2020, and a rising 12 in 2021. The number of patents granted has been zero across 2019 and 2020, while in 2021, one patent was granted. Why is research so crucial for an institute? The answer lies in the realization that research is the key distinguishing factor among institutes of higher learning. This realization has been further complemented by investments in research infrastructure and modern lab equipment at IITs. The number of patents published at IIT Gandhinagar was 5 in 2019, then decreased to 2 in 2020, and in 2021, it increased yet again to 5. There were no patents granted across all three years. The number of patents published by IIT Bhubaneswar has been observed to be 8 in 2019. Ultimately, in 2020 and 2021, the published patents were a halved 4. The number of patents granted was observed to be 0 across 2019, 2020, and 2021. Moving on, the profound research at IIT Patna can be glanced through 82 projects in 2019. A much reduced 48 sponsored projects in 2020, and this further decreased to 46 sponsored projects in 2021. The sponsored research fund at IIT Patna in 2019 was 9 crores. In 2020, a slight de-escalation resulted in a lower 8 crores, and this year saw an increase in funds amounting to the highest 11 crores. IIT Gandhinagar saw 124 sponsored projects in 2018, a higher 156 in 2019, a magnified number of sponsored projects was observed last year at 196 and this year recorded the highest 230 projects. The sponsored research fund at IIT Gandhinagar in 2018 was 16 crores. In 2019, it was a loftier 25 crores. 2020 witnessed an even higher 31 crores and this fund witnessed the highest escalation amounting to 37 crores in 2021. IIT Bhubaneswar testifies to a growth in sponsored projects, but an ebb and flow with the sponsored funding. In 2019, the sponsored projects were a fine 107. In 2020, a higher 127 projects. And finally, in 2021, it was the highest escalation resulting in 135 sponsored projects. The sponsored research fund in 2019 was 10 crores. In 2020, it was a significant 16 crores, and in 2021, it noticed a reduction amounting to 13 crores. IIT Gandhinagar tops the list when it comes to sponsored projects and their funding. Simultaneously, the consultancy projects at IIT Patna in 2019 were an appreciable 14, a higher 36 consultancy projects in 2020, and this year saw a slightly higher 38 consultancy projects. However, the consultancy project fund affirmed a mere 48 lakh in 2019, a rise to 1 crore in 2020. In 2021, the consultancy project fund was an even higher 3 crores. However, IIT Gandhinagar has 41 consultancy projects in 2018. In 2019, it was a greater 56, a magnified 62 in 2020, and finally a slightly lower 61 consultancy projects in 2021. The funding for consultancy projects at IIT Gandhinagar was 3 crores in 2018, a slightly reduced 2 crores in 2019. The highest funding was in 2020, which was 6 crores, and 2021 observed a de-escalation amounting to 3.9 crores. At the same time, IIT Bhubaneswar confirmed 38 projects in 2019. In 2020, it increased to 44 and an even higher 61 consultancy projects in 2021. The consultancy project funding witnessed a progression from 2 crores in 2019, then followed an increased 3.2 crores in 2020, and a slightly higher 3.3 crores is the funding. The winner for the title of Consultancy Projects is shared between IIT Gandhinagar and IIT Bhubaneswar, and the funding is the highest for IIT Gandhinagar. The absolute winner here is IIT Patna, with a total of 484 PhD members this year. And 15 scholars graduated with a PhD in 2019, 40 in 2020, and 54 in 2021. However, IIT Gandhinagar has 440 PhD scholars in 2021. In 2018, 8 scholars graduated with a PhD and 12 in 2019, a figure that stood at 16 in 2020 and 51 in 2021. At the same time, IIT Bhubaneswar has 161 PhD members in 2021, with 5 who graduated in 2019, 
15 in 2020 and the highest 20 PhD students this year. This has granted IIT Patna the highest score among the three of 44.92%, IIT Gandhinagar with 35.05% and IIT Bhubaneswar with a fair 37.81% in research and professional practice, which contributes to another 30% of the NIRF score. Graduation Outcome From the UG program at IIT Patna, a phenomenal growth has been observed in the graduation percentage from 93.96% in 2019, a magnified 98.41% in 2020, and an excellent 98.96% in 2021. Delving into the UG program at IIT Gandhinagar in 2019, the graduation percentage was a mere 72.34%, while 2020 also viewed a fair 86.33%, and an even better graduation percentage of 87.64% students have graduated this year. The students from IITs have been remarkable in coping with the current situation, and the results of the placement drive are testament to their and the institute's success. In the UG program at IIT Bhubaneswar in 2019, the graduation percentage was an excellent 96.34%. In 2020, the figure was a good 91.36%, and a commendable 91.98% of students graduated this year. The graduation percentage among the three is the highest at IIT Patna. The number of students placed at IIT Patna in 2019 was a fine 80.65%, a major reduction in the number of students placed, which was 63.69% in 2020, and a slightly increased placement percentage of 64.48% this year. The number of students placed in 2019 from IIT Gandhinagar was a fine number of students placed at 83.82%. A greatly reduced 61.85% was the placement percentage in 2020, and this year echoed a better placement percentage of 68.91%. The number of students placed in 2019 at IIT Bhubaneswar was a striking 91.55%. In 2020, the placement percentage was a good but slightly reduced 87.59%, and this year at IIT Bhubaneswar, it is a reduced yet appreciable 81.67%. The surefire winner is IIT Bhubaneswar, placing 156 students from a class of 191 who graduated this year, of which four students went on to pursue their higher studies. IIT Patna follows a progressive growth of a constant 10 lakhs per annum in both 2019 and 2020, while this year saw a remarkable salary package of 14 lakhs per annum. The average salary package offered to students at IITs during campus placements has increased as against the previous year, despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The median salary offered to place students at IIT Gandhinagar is a progressive one with 7 lakhs per annum in 2019. 2020 had a slightly increased median salary of 7.25 lakhs per annum, and this year stands at a striking 8.96 lakhs per annum. The median salary in 2019 at IIT Bhubaneswar offered to the play students was 8.8 lakhs per annum. Last year, the salary package was a greater 9 lakh per annum. And lastly, this year, it saw the highest escalation amounting to 13.5 lakhs per annum. Here, IIT Patna tops the list in the median salary offered to play students this year. The behemoths in the industry that hire from the celebrated IITs are Cognizant, Google, Microsoft, IBM, JP Morgan, TCS, Wipro, ONGC, and Opera Solutions, to name a few. This has engendered IIT Patna to score a good 63.77%, IIT Gandhinagar with a fine 57.31%, and IIT Bhubaneswar with the highest 66.44% in graduation outcomes, contributing to 20% of the NIRF score. Outreach and inclusivity. Now let's explore the diversity that one gets to relish at the IIT campus. The IITs have gained significantly in terms of outreach because of their strong collaboration with a plethora of national and international agencies and institutions. But what grants uniqueness is the diverse student community at each IIT. IIT Patna has an overall student strength of 1,194 of which only a mere 27.39%, that is 327 students, are from within Bihar, while the lion's share of 72.61%, or 867 students, are from various parts of the country. There are no students from abroad pursuing a career at IIT Patna. This diversity is embraced by IIT Gandhinagar as well, having an overall student strength of 1,063, A sizable 83.16% or 884 students are from outside the state, along with 6 students from abroad, while 16.27% or 173 students are from within Gujarat. 
IIT Bhubaneswar with a student strength of 1,681 has a small 8.8% or 148 students from within Odisha, while a higher share of students are from outside the state, which is 91.14% or 1,532 students, while one student is from abroad. This has accorded IIT Patna an appreciable score of 53.22%. IIT Gandhinagar has an excellent and highest 62.64%. And ultimately, IIT Bhubaneswar stands with a fair 55.62% for outreach and inclusivity which contributes to 10% of the NIRF score. Perception The exemplary work done by the students, faculty and alumni in multiple fields of human activity is one that has contributed to the outstanding perception of IITs across the nation and the globe. IIT Patna holds a significant mark in perception, scoring a fair 28.83% in perception accorded after public opinion. IIT Gandhinagar has been a eulogized dream for every engineering aspirant, thereby furnishing it an impressive 39.87% from the public. IIT Bhubaneswar also shares a marked perception from the public of 29.93%. Hence, perception contributes to an overall 10% of the NIRF score. Considering all of the scores mentioned above in a plethora of parameters, IIT Patna has attained an overall NIRF score of 57.38%, ranking 21st on the NIRF table. IIT Gandhinagar ranks 22nd with a score of 56.86%, and IIT Bhubaneswar has secured an exhaustive 55.71% NIRF score and ranks 28th in the NIRF 2021 ranking. Admission IIT admits UG and PG students through JEE Advanced and GATE scores respectively. Being one of the country's renowned institutions, students are expected to have excellent scores to carve their way into the prestigious IITs, transforming their dream into a reality. Cut-off marks The opening and closing ranks at IIT Patna for BTEC in CS and Engineering were 1,849 and 2,633 respectively, under the general category. For IIT Gandhinagar, the opening rank is 1,245 and the closing rank is 1,426 while IIT Bhubaneswar has an opening rank of 1,621 and a closing rank of 2,176, both under the same general category and in particular to computer science engineering. The complete list for cutoff, course and category-wise is made available in the description box below. Location IIT Patna's campus is located at Bitta. 35 kilometers from Patna and 20 kilometers from Ara in Bihar. The nearest railway station is Patna Junction, 34.8 kilometers from the campus. The nearest airport to reach IIT Patna campus is Jay Prakash Narayan International Airport, Patna, which is located 31.7 kilometers from the campus. IIT Gandhinagar is located at Palaj Gandhinagar, Gujarat. The nearest international airport is the Ahmedabad Airport, which is 21.3 kilometers from the campus. The nearest railway station is the Ahmedabad railway station that is 28.1 km from IIT Gandhinagar. IIT Bhubaneswar at Argul is about 30 km from Bhubaneswar city in Odisha. The campus is 32.6 km from Bhubaneswar Biju Bharnayak International Airport, which is the nearest international airport. The nearest railway station is the Kurda Road Junction railway station, which is 5.8 km from the campus. Campus Life the lush IIT Patna embraces a massive 501-acre campus, while the sprawling campus at IIT Gandhinagar is 400 acres and the luscious IIT Bhubaneswar spreads over a massive 936 acres. All three campuses have facilities that include top-notch laboratories, comfortable classrooms and so much more. They also have a separate hostel for boys and girls. Fee Structure the approximate fee structure for UG students for the first semester is 1.17 lakhs at IIT Patna. On a similar note, at IIT Gandhinagar, it is Rs 1.14 lakhs for the first semester. And finally, at IIT Bhubaneswar, it is Rs 1.36 lakhs for the first semester. Please note that the fee is subject to variation. Approximately, one pays around 8.55 lakhs as an overall fee at both IIT Patna. IIT Gandhinagar has an overall fee which is 8.65 lakhs and the highest is 10.45 lakhs at IIT Bhubaneswar. However, the saving grace here is that the median salary offered to place students is an excellent 14 lakhs per annum at IIT Patna, an appreciable 8.96 lakhs per annum at IIT Gandhinagar and an amazing 13.5 lakhs per annum at IIT Bhubaneswar, which means that you can earn back your fees in less than a year. Conclusion 
Diving into all of these facts and the performance of these institutions, certain fine picks for all three IITs, which have fared well in different metrics, are IIT Patna is celebrated for its outstanding faculty to student ratio, an excellent graduation percentage, and brilliant median salary. IIT Gandhinagar maintains a stellar female student ratio, capital expenditure, operational expenditure, sponsored projects, and its funding and consultancy projects. Moving on to IIT Bhubaneswar, it has an exceptional student strength which is the cornerstone of any educational institution, topped in faculty strength, consultancy projects, and its funding, and an impressive placement percentage. We can see that all three colleges have brilliant faculty members and infrastructure. All three IITs motivate their students to upskill themselves from skilled professionals to future leaders of the nation. What other interesting college comparisons would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit us at collegesuggest.com.